now we will see what is inheritance types of inheritance with programs acquiring one class properties into another class is nothing but a inheritance so that we can get one class properties into another class in inheritance allows to create a new class whenever you are creating a new class means that new class can be called as a derived class or you can simply remember it as a child class from an existing base class base class is simply you can remember as a parent class so here you can get the new child class from parent class so this child class will get the properties of the parent okay so here inheritance makes code reusable by using inheritance we can make the code as a reusable why we are getting one class properties into another class means in one, in this class a whatever the variables and methods are there that we are using in the child class okay so here that's why uh, in the inheritance makes code reusable so now we will see the types of inheritance single inheritance multi level inheritance multiple inheritance hierarchical inheritance and so on one by one we will see with program simple programs only i am giving you please uh, try to follow it single inheritance a derived class with only one base class is called as a single inheritance base means only one parent okay derived means child one child class with only one parent is nothing but a single inheritance if you observe here this is nothing but a single inheritance by seeing this you can come to know that b is a derived class okay a is a base class or simply you can remember it as a parent and derived can be remember as a child child is one child is having only one parent then you can say that that is a single okay and this b is getting the properties of a whatever the variables and methods used in the class a that can be accessible in b okay so here always child will get the properties of parent here to get the properties of parent class in child b then you need to use the extens keyword so first i am writing class a in a class a what is the this class a i am writing so here this is nothing but a parent so class a some set of variables and functions you can use next class b i want to in the b i want to use a properties okay this b wants to use parent properties then you can use the extens keyword and this parent name you need to use now this b can have b's properties and also a's properties okay class b extens a next within the flower braces you can write some set of statement this is about the single inheritance now we will see one simple program okay in your examination it's mandatory to write the programs for every concept if you write the program then only you will get the marks so here um, same html code this php code i am writing in embedding in the html next one class class name so here i am taking the class a and class b class a is a parent class class b is as a parent class and class b i am taking as a child this b should get the properties of a okay so here in the class a i am taking the age as a 40 this is some person age as a 40 and i am using some function how to define a function function space some function name in the function i am printing the some message that i am parent with age okay anything you can take i am parent with age comma this variable i want to print next function close next class close next class b extends a i am extending this a properties this is nothing but a single inheritance this b is getting the properties of a okay next uh, b h is i am taking as a 15 
okay next one function display one don't take the same function names here i have taken variable name as a age here i am taking age one here display display one like that only you take next one i am child with age dollar age one like that i am taking next function close next class close next here b is having the ace properties so you need to create an object for the b only okay why a is having only ace properties b is having base properties and also ace properties so you need to create the, an object for the child so here dollar ob is equal to new class name semicolon so uh, object is created and by using this object name you can call the functions now whatever the variables and functions are there that will be uh, extended in the class a okay so here dollar ob arrow display function so it will call the display function in the display function whatever is there i am parent with age okay i am parent with age as it is it will print dollar age dollar age is nothing but a what 40 it will print next one dollar ob arrow display one it will call the control will transfer to the display one function in the display function i am child with age so echo uh, means on the output screen you will get as a i am child with age dollar age one age one variable is having the value as a 15 so it will print the 15 this is about the single inheritance concept you can write your own program. Please subscribe to my channel.